Welcome to Soul Food Ministries and Outreach. I'm Henriette Hobson. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to my craft corner today. Well, I'm still decorating plastic bottles. And I'm coming up with more and more and more. It's just fun to do. Amazing to see what you can do with just a plastic bottle. So, here we go. These are the two latest ones I did. Now, they were quick and there's flaws, but I just really kind of basically want to give you the idea of what, you know, you can do and using your own imagination. I had a cathedral in my mind when I did this. And... I think it's cute. I think it came out absolutely adorable. It can, you know, you can, you can, you know, do your own version of it. I use ribbon to trim out the windows. I couldn't find my popsicle sticks in order to do it. So I, you know, use what you have. And that's, that's, that's what I'm big on, you know, using what you already have. Don't you know, fret and stress yourself all out that you, you know, oh, I don't have this. I, I couldn't find them. So it's like, well, okay, Lord, what else can I use? And so this is what I came up with. So what I did was I kind of drew out a little pattern on some newspaper of some cathedral type windows. And then I drew them out with some, with um, a Sharpie on on there and then I painted around it for the building part the white and then I cut out the the windows and this is out of some window uh what do they call it solutions type 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 thing it's a plastic that you, you know you can put on your windows to filter to you know um, keep people from looking in to get some privacy, but you can still have some light. That's what this is. And it's in a stained glass pattern. Now, I can put lights in here and it looks really, really pretty. I should have went on and put some lights in there when I brought it on, but I forgot about it. Um, so I cut that out. Then I glued, you know, glued them around the sides at the edge to the plastic bottle. Then I took and glued ribbon, as you can see, and I glued ribbon around the, the stained glass uh, sheeting. Still, <laughs> I glue uh, strings always everywhere. And so then I had some little marbles because I didn't like the unfinished finished edge. And I just glued some little marbles on there to embellish it. Now, on the white painted wood, wood would be the, either the stone or, you know, whatever, you know, in your imagination for what the building is made of. I painted it white this particular time, which you don't have to, but it gave it a little extra of a pearly effect is I put uh, some pearl, white pearl, uh, Rust-Oleum metallic paint on top of the white after the white dried, and then I put the white clear sparkle on there. So then I, you know, embellished it with the marbles on, on each point, you know, all the way to the bottom. Took the cap, painted it white, did the same thing, treatment to it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, I took some ribbon because just to just give it a little bit of uh, a bit extra. And I had not finished painting. The, I needed to paint another coat and I wanted to get this done. So I just put some ribbon. Glued it, hot glued it around, used my glue gum, gun. I couldn't find my uh, popsicle sticks to make my cross for the top and have my little steeple going up there. So what I did was I took some plastic knives, just your, your cuttery, your plastic cuttery knives. I had some knives and I don't really use a lot of knives anyway. And so I just took them and I broke them off. And so I only used this part. 
right here. And so I took those two parts and, and made a cross out of them. Um, once I did that, I was going to paint it white and go through the whole thing. And I thought, just let me hurry up. <laughs> I was trying to hurry up so I could get this video going. And so I just took the ribbon and to give it some dimension, some color, because a lot of, you know, your crosses or your steeple, whatever is bronze or something like that. So I just took some ribbon, put it up, put it up, you know, around both um, set of the knives and then put the embellishments on the marbles, embellished it. And then I glued it to the top and mounted it up and gave it a little snow effect and put the glitter on it and what have you. I think it turned out absolutely fabulous. It was just a great idea. You can do so many things with recycling, upcycling your bottles and enjoying them for the holiday. I think it is a great addition to anything that you want to sit, you know, on a table or what have you. You can you can put it on a tree. You can use it as a tree topper, actually. It would make a great tree topper. You would have to cut, you know, the bottom out. Just cut the bottom out. And, you know, put it on, on your on your top branch. Really, really cute. Fabulous idea. I didn't go through cutting the the plastic of the bottle out because it really when you put when I put some I put uh, light bulbs in there from Christmas lights and it shone through made a nice window light it was really it was it's pretty it turns out right now this is once again I <laughs> got to backtrack a little bit I always start out with a clear bottle then I paint it white usually. And then I'll come back with whatever glitter I am using on that particular project. White or gold or silver, whichever you decide to use. Here's the glitter. This, I mean, you can buy just anywhere. This, you don't even need a label. And it's so old, I don't even know. You know, but take the ring of the bottle off. Along with taking the, you know, package wrapper, what, what it was, off. And I don't even bother when I'm painting it and priming it. I don't even bother to mess with that. I'll take it off a little bit sometimes, but it's not worth the effort because you can paint right on top of it. And there you are. And that's that's the beginning of every project with these bottles. You know, priming them. If you, and if, I did not, you know, of course, paint the area where I was putting the windows because I want the light to come through. I wish I could get that in a in a light. You probably can see how you can see through it. Just and just the cutest little. It's just cute, cute, cute. Now my next project was I did the same thing. This is my other little snowman. I showed you a snowman that I did the first time. It was gold, and then this one I wanted to do a white snowman. And so here we are. I went through the same steps and um, primed. Let it dry. As a matter of fact, uh, you don't even have to let it dry. Well, I had to let it dry because I needed to do more than one coat. You can, if you don't want to put sparkles on it, you can. I had uh, uh, painted the Rust-Oleum Pearl on top of the white uh, primer. And then I put the sparkles. You can just leave that Rust-Oleum Pearl. It is really pretty. And you can, you can have a snowman you know, out of that or whatever else you think you want to do. Took some buttons out of my old button collection. One of my little marbles. I made them some eyes of coal out of some small buttons and took some larger buttons. And then put some little fake rhinestones or crystals. And it, they don't bling as much as I'd like for them to bling. But and, they, and you know what? Actually, I didn't have to use them because it was cute with just the black buttons, you know, the as for coal, you know, on there. I took, I had a holly leaf that I had embellished with some sparkle, put it on his hat. I didn't have any red berries, so I just took and put some of the little fake crystals up there. Took some twigs from out in the yard, made him some hands and some arms, and you can add him a scarf. It's going to be kind of, you need a thin 
a thinner, and I have some black and white ribbon I could have easily put around there, but I just like him like he is. It's fine. You can put, you know, some ribbon or whatever, rope or whatever you want to use to make him a scarf. And I think he looks pretty dapper myself. I've had my hats that I made from the other. I showed you how I made the other hat. Um, and I just glued that on with some hot glue. And I think he is absolutely adorable. You can see the shimmer of the pearl. That pearl is beautiful. That metallic, uh, Rosolium metallic, they make gorgeous metallics. Um, so, I used, this is the sheeting that I used. For the windows on the other one the cathedral it you know you can buy them at the hardware store or whatever it comes up in a box you know thing and here it is and see how clear it is it's transparent you can see through it there you go and so i just cut off the size, what I needed, I made you know the adjustment and measured and looked at it and thought, well, okay, I want X amount of windows, so I can't make them, you know, you know, I gotta make them a certain size in order to be able to fit them all in. And glue gun. Everybody's got a glue gun. Ta-da! You know, got your glue gun. Glue sticks, I just use regular glue sticks. On this on this project, you can use regular glue sticks. You really don't have to use Gorilla Glue or go into anything expensive. You can use dollar store glue sticks. That works for as I know and, and concern. Nothing is falling out. You know, I'm holding him by his arm and, and he's still hanging on, okay? Now, this is my gold um, little snowman. Here's the ribbon that I use. This is just some gold ribbon that I use and use around Christmas time. I have used, um, you know, they actually this it's got poinsettias on it. It was kind of a Christmas ribbon that they put out. Uh, it works really well for making little drums, you know, the V, v shape on your drums. And this is what it is. It's, um, all of this stuff is very old. The companies might not even be making this stuff anymore. But so it really company doesn't matter just what the actual uh, what it look and actually it doesn't even really matter what I use because you can use you know if you want to do exactly what I did is fine but your own imagination to do whatever it is that you want to work out. Here's the um, the little fake crystals that I have on his hat and that I have on his. Um, buttons and so there you are there's two more of the inventions of the upcycling sorry I'm getting out of this frame the upcycling of plastic bottles for Christmas and enjoy you know just have fun with it like I said the top hat it's made um, it's about three inches for the the round bill on the hat and the uh, crown of the hat was about uh, I think it was an inch and three quarters thick and seven and three quarters long length cut out of some just cardboard just scrap cardboard I got out of the mail from uh, what you call junk, junk mail and then once I put together the whatever they call it part of the hat and then you know what your circle is going to be. <clears throat> and then you can cut your circle out. Put it on and glue it on there. Uh, I saw a girl on one of the YouTubes. And she took and she put the circle on it before she even cut it. She glued it onto the cardboard and then cut it out and trimmed it out or whatever. That's a good way to do it because, you know, it gets a little tedious sometimes trying to get that exact fit. Either way, it works fine and it's easy. So, there we go. Our little snowman. 
you know, just sit on the counter, or what have you, in the kids' rooms, wherever you want to put them in the front room, your your living room, and then your little cathedral. You know, make a little thing, make a little village. I'm uh, yet I plan to anyway is make a little a village out of the bottles. That's my next project. I believe I'm gonna do it. I hate to tell you, then don't do it, but you can do it. I'm going to tell you, you know, the idea, and then you go for it. And let's see what we can come up with. It would be awesome if you would send me um, through, you know, my uh, email or what have you, pictures of your projects that you made, uh, ideas, send me some idea, your ideas. It's all so much fun. So much fun. Just keep enjoying, having fun with this, you and the family. And, you know, like I said, it's therapeutic. I tell you, it, it keeps your mind busy with something that's positive and fun. If you enjoy crafts especially. And then if something gets a little too tedious for you, just don't bother to you know, go on with it until you, you know, uh, well, what I mean is don't try to overdo it, you know, until it stresses you, become stressful, have fun with it. You're not selling them or anything. Then don't worry about stressing yourself out, you know, about it. This is therapeutic for me. It keeps my mind off of things that I don't want to think about things that are, you know, maybe going on in my life that I don't want to give time on. Um, negative energy and efforts in keep you from responding and doing something that you <laughs> that you will regret or don't want to do. Um, I remember being it was a couple of years ago, I think it was maybe even three. I'm more like two, and I was a Hobby Lobby and was doing whatever, buying some fabric or something. And you know, the lady she's like, "Yeah, I'm in here," you know. Um, angry after argument angry or something chopping it off or whatever you know and, and that's what we do that's what we do so I go out you can go out and window shop but if it, you're going to be tempted to spend money and you really don't want to or it shouldn't then please craft <laughs> using be creative using what you have you know I don't want to I'm not I'm not spending a whole lot of money anymore I got too much stuff now and I'm trying to get get uh, it on eBay and sell it and all that. And so I don't want to collect a lot of anything else. And, you know, I'm trying to just use up what I have. And this is my therapy. This is my therapy as far as, you know, just kind of keeping your mind busy. I'm, I'm not going to go out and shop and spend a whole bunch of money that I don't need to spend uh, or go online and do it. This is a inexpensive <laughs> visit to the therapist okay and so i hope you enjoy it I hope you try them out use your creative talents it's in there in everyone but everyone's talent and creativity has a different flavor and so you just get out there and get it under your little room or i'm on my on my kitchen counter uh this granite is <laughs> is durable and I get paint on it and everything, and I just let the paint dry and then scrape it off with a um, sharp uh, object, like mainly a razor. And it hasn't scratched it yet. I don't dig in it and go off. You know, I, I'm careful with it, but it hasn't scratched it up yet, and it still looks amazing. It's brand new when I polish it out. Not with a buffer or anything, but just wipe it down. So I hope you have fun and enjoy yourself. And share your, you know, little crafts with your family and friends and, you know, what have you. Maybe a school project for the kids or your, you know, kids uh, invite a couple of their friends over and you do something that's fun. A little snowman. Everybody likes a snowman, okay? Everybody loves snowmen. So, you know, get, bring them over. Plastic bottles, they're free when it comes down to after you've already used them. And... You know, you even have a neighbor to collect them for you or something that, you know, what have you. Mine's a soda bottle, which I shouldn't be drinking soda. I, I can drink soda if I want to, but 
it is not the healthiest thing of what they say in health wise, but you know, I flush out with water and what have you, but you know, take it and use it, even your iced tea bottles. You know, I've got some prepared to, to uh, make my village with them. So bring the kids over and just have some good, wholesome, fun time without being on, you know, all the social media things and let them understand and see once they get into it and start having some fun that they don't even need it. You know, they, they that was a few uh, moments that they did not even think about social media or have to be on it. You know, 30 minutes, an hour of just sitting out having some good old fashioned fun. So have fun. See you next time. Bye-bye for now. Like and subscribe.